The history of lake water quality can be found in sediments buried deep underwater. Join researchers on the RV Blue Heron collecting Lake Superior sediment samples for scientific study. The area we are about to sample is south of Isle Royale near the center of Lake Superior. Scientists prepare a frame holding multiple coring tubes. The frame will be lowered to the bottom of the lake and the core tubes will sink into the sediment. When the coring device is pulled up, Caps cover the bottom of the core tubes to assist suction in holding the sediment in place as the device is raised hundreds of meters back to the surface. Sometimes things don't go as planned and the sediment falls out before it reaches the boat. Scientists remove the sediment cores and cap them until they are sectioned into thin intervals. In this particular study, scientists are interested in collecting the remains of diatoms. Diatoms are microscopic algae with siliceous or glass-like cell walls. As diatoms die and fall to the lake bottom, their glass cases become buried in the sediment. Researchers prepare slides from the sediment to identify diatom species from different intervals. Sample intervals at the top of the core are from more recent times. The further down the core we look, the further back we go into the lake's history by seeing which diatom species were dominant in previous times. Each diatom species thrives in certain environmental conditions Based on the types of species found in different sediment layers, scientists make inferences about long ago water quality. When we look at a core, we can see different sediment layers. Just above the sediment, there is a layer of water from the bottom of the lake. Even in hundreds of meters of water, tiny animals like the shrimp-like mysis can be found living at the sediment water interface. Sediment studies like those done by researchers at UMD's Natural Resources Research Institute and the Large Lakes Observatory in Duluth, Minnesota are helping us understand human impacts on water quality and to make predictions about how a changing climate could alter Lake Superior's chemistry and food web.